yeah, kind of second half capitulation, unfortunately. Um, but and that was Richie Bennett, who's now playing today for Hartlepool. Who, who scored the equaliser, I think, that evening. There you go. That's the non-league travel, uh, the transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the rounds, yeah, but exactly. a, a big capture on loan from Stockport. Surprise one, maybe. For sure. And the ball is being swung in from the left, and Wilson Head's not convincingly cleared, and the ball came off a Hartlepool head in the end. And I think it was Reece Oates. Yeah, he's dangerous. He's dangerous, Reece Oates. One of their top goal scorers this season. Uh, yeah. They've written a, rewritten a few scripts, haven't they, this season? Yeah, I mean, when, when we was there, we, f we finished, I think, second in the end. Um, missed out on the playoffs, but I think this season they've been good. Really, really good. Well drilled. Really... Uh, had a good balance there. Powerful, out powerful up front as well, aren't they? Yeah, they're running out a bit of steam at the moment, though. Not been the results they want, but hopefully they can keep keep pressing. I'd love to see them go up. It'd be great for them. Great time down there. So the game down here against Hartlepool's chief uh, promotion uh, rivals was uh, end up in a 3-3 draw. In fact, Wilson were leading 3-2. Ah, in fact, it's well won by Oates. He's kind of cutting inside and has his shot charged down. And the follow-up is well saved by great Shelby. Save. That was a decent effort on the follow-up from Hollihan. Wrapped his right foot around it, but Shelby did really well there for the Stones. Yeah, we needed him there. I think that's probably one of our, our weaknesses. We're a bit too honest as a team. You know, Jack needs to fall over there, get the foul in the corner. Refs always give those ones, and we, we <laughs> stay on our feet and get dispossessed, and it's kind of tricky, but yeah, thankfully, big shelves come up with a save. Back to Michael Phillips. Connor Smith, ball Very around fast. the corner, and Alex Dyer will be able to get on the end of this, but good challenge by Cass. Dyer again, and Denner Lewis now. This is a position of some danger. Jacob Mendy Mendy snapping his shot. And Phillips, well, he hit across the ball there. Not the ideal finish. <laughs> oh, you have to chuckle. Alohu <laughs> rather than Jack Corley. He's little carrying the ball. And he gets it wide to Sterry. Hart the pull with good possession in the Stones half. On Little hoping to get the corner, I think, but his wow. corner's fallen to Oates and a tremendous goal. What a tremendous shot on the turf from Reese Oates. Well, that came completely out of the blue, didn't it, Ross? Yeah, it's frustrating. I think it's didn't get tight enough on the cross, didn't cut the cross out, and then, yeah, great finish in the end. I think but Gary Little was playing primarily for a corner there as he played the ball against the Stones defender's legs, but in fact, he went through to Oates, he turned, and what a smart finish that was. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I've been reminiscing of Harry Kane last night, wasn't it? Um, They're very similar, yeah. I think um, I think Oates would be pleased with that comparison. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but I think it benefits a lot of the players. So at least know when we step on the pitch what we need to do. This is a dangerous scenario here, though. It's a good angle for the free kick for Hartlepool. I think it's going to be played in to the fast stick and all on his own there. All on his own was uh, number 39, Richie Bennett. And the ball came off him for a goal kick, according to the referee. A very, a very deep diagonal free kick from David Ferguson and the Stones offside trap. Didn't quite trap, did it, on that occasion? No, got away one there. He's taken it up very well. Um, I think Bennett would be disappointed that he didn't slot that one in the far corner. Yeah, big sigh of relief. Good work by Shelby. But the ball came off Bennett in the end for a Wilson goal kick. And a long ball towards Alowu, who heads it down. And it's Ferguson hooking it over his shoulder and a flick header again cleaned up by Alowu. Alex Dyer has one possession and he worked a bit of magic there and his ball has gone Great to Denon Lewis. Lovely work by Alex Dyer. Denon Lewis whipping the ball into his right foot and a great header. Great header by Michael Phillips unexpectedly up in the box and a good save by Ravas to his left. That's probably the best move of the first half. Agreed, yeah. I think Dyer did excellent there, manipulated the ball, got it out wide. Then he got his cross in. Yeah, that's where his bread and butter for him. And big Mike, unlucky, just not enough in the corner. Good, good work by David Ferguson cutting out that long ball from the keeper. And again, it's Hartlepool on the offensive. He's in as well. And here's Richie Bennett with a chance to pull the ball down the edge of the box. And here's Reese Oates on his left foot, spanking that one, but blocked by Mendy. Gets it back again, throws it up. And there's Bennett with a header for 2-0. And that's a lovely move by Hartlepool. Good work by Reese Oates on the left, getting round the back of Jacob Mendy Mendy, and he set up such an inviting cross. Yeah, for the big man. That's for the big man, Richie food, Bennett. Food and drink for Richie Bennett, unfortunately. He's uh, he standing those up. He's got the run and the defenders. He's always going to win that one, but 
Unfortunately, downfall of our own mistakes again there. Rust the kick out. Well, who needs Luke Armstrong? The uh, the top scorer for Hartlepool being left on the bench today. But up uh, front, Reese Oates. Reese Oates and uh, Richie Bennett causing havoc. Free kick goes straight through to Heinrich Ravas, the Slovakian in Hartlepool's goal today. Good ball over the top for Bennett. Again, he's broken the line. The linesman the linesman the kicks his flag down. A good hit by Bennett. And he's followed up to make it 3-0. Well, a good save by Shelby. The ball spooned up into the air and Bennett with an admirable finish for 3-0. And Hartlepool running right here at Grosvenor Vale after Woolstone have made a very decent fist of it in the opening 40 minutes. They find themselves training by 3-0. Yes. I mean, what do you say? It's been a very, very poor last three, four minutes. Well, I think the offside trap obviously failed there, didn't it? Allowing Bennett to run through. Yeah. They're timing these passes from the back exquisitely. I mean, he looked off from up here, but Lysman has got a better view. And Foul throw by Danny Green. He's been around long enough not to do that sort of thing. We, come here. we, we mentioned earlier that they rarely get given commentators curse. <laughs> well, it's embarrassing, isn't it? If you're certainly in the Premier League, you watch the matches on, on telly and you see a Premier League player committing yeah. a foul throw, the referees can barely believe it. But that was clearly won by Danny Green, and it's Reese Oates in possession for Hartlepool. And winning another throw off Greeny. Will Stone's longest serving player, I believe. Back he's to 2016, five years here. He's been awesome, Greeny, since I've been at the club. And there's a chance on his left foot, and another goal. And what a cracking finish that was. Reese Oates finds the back of the net again, drilled that ball beyond George Shelby. A loose ball on the edge of the box following the throw in. And a cracking finish from Oates again, who's scored two this afternoon. Two for him and two goals for Richie Bennett. We need a reaction. We need a Just reaction. Watch quickly. that one again. Wilson not dealing with the long throw. The ball came loose. And there was Oates with, on his left foot. What a dangerous left foot he's got. No chance for the on loan keeper, George Shelby. He's been a nuisance all day. Um, him and Oates have been the standout too for these guys. He's the, he's the dream package, isn't he, up front? You know, tall, mobile, can use both feet, obviously decent in the air. But I'm sure we'll be going back to Stockport next season. Yeah, surprised not playing higher, to be honest. And the corner played in, hanging it up towards Bennett. Corley gets his head to it. And Corley is appealing for the uh, that he is being fouled, but he gives away the corner. And he's Oates corner. in a bit of space on the right, plays it across. And Paul's going again for the oh, great what save by save. Shelby. A terrific effort by Shelton. He thought he was going to join the list of goal scorers there, but a terrific save by George Shelby, the Nottingham Forest loan keeper. Well, what a save that is. It's concerning because the fourth goal, they are two on the edge of the box free. Yeah. So another one on the edge of the box there. Yeah, but the fact they've got the bodies up there, haven't they, Hartlepool? The North season was, was closed down, as we all know, null and voided a few months ago. Certainly a useful having the sort of strikers that they've got, Ross. Yep. They're all big, strong and mobile, aren't they? Exactly. That's a foul. Yeah, Elliot giving away his second foul of the afternoon. He's, he's only been playing two minutes. Book him already, I reckon. <laughs> I think we need at least two sendings off to get yep. into this game, yep. Ross. I'll take that. And that's not going to happen. Very well-drilled side, the Hartlepool. And another high line from Hartlepool as Danny Green prepares to take this free kick from the right hand side. Looking for the head of Jack Corley, who couldn't quite make it. And uh, Little. Two one on him. Yeah, Little got his, got his head there. Bit of magic, right? What you got for us, right? Nice. Good work by Gondo and then Lewis and back to Jacob Mendy. Mendy who has a shot from distance. Oh. And that brought a tremendous save from Ravas. That was going to hit top bins. Great strike for Mens. He's got a few like that this season, hasn't he? And uh, he's only denied by an excellent save there. Probably a little bit further out than the other world is he scored this season. Yeah, exactly. I mean, last season everyone was onto him and he was lining up a shot, but now we understand. Yeah. We'll let him off. It wouldn't hurt to throw some of these players in, I'm sure. No. Denner Lewis, though, trying to work the ball down the left hand flank and close down again, Steri in possession. Been unlucky today, Den. He's working hard. 
He's not getting the breaks. Ah, come on, Joe. He's in. Sterry with the ball wide to the left. And there's Elliot all on his own here. And Mendy is trying to close him down. And Elliot playing the ball across the box. An appeal for a foul. I think that was Shelton bursting into the box. But uh, a bit of a vain appeal by the Hartlepool midfielder. Fortunate with that one. Good work by Elliot. He, he did well to pull the ball across there. He did get clipped by Corley. Did get clipped. You think he did? Yeah. So it's a bit of a replay, yeah. Hopefully they ain't got VAR. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been more embarrassment for the Stones with the penalty of that, of that point. Played up by Akimo, but closed down by Hartlepool. And a good flick inside there by Hollihan. Shelton and Hollihan. Trying to find the space again on the right of the box and well cut out by Jack Corley, who's having a bit of a torrid afternoon with the pace and mobility of the Hartlepool strikers. And I can't think of any team in this division who've, who've got a, a, a stronger strike force in reserve also, apart from the starting 11, than yeah. Hartlepool. Yeah, they're a strong team. That's why they're deservedly up high in the league. To bring on the likes, Elliot, big signing, Pacey. Well, Sutton have had a bit of a stutter, haven't they, in recent weeks, which has allowed Hartlepool to climb above them. So the way the season's panning out, Hartlepool could well find themselves top on equal games played. Oh, and the referee's given a penalty. I'm not the sure what Mike could have done there, to be honest. The ball struck Michael Phillips. He is stretching to clear that corner. The ball flew up and hit him on the arm. I'm not sure what he could do to get his arm out of the way. Let's see that one again. I mean, he's come off his foot onto his yeah. hand. I don't know what you meant to do there. I think we've got a better angle here, funnily enough. And it, it looks harsher from what we saw, first of all, than the second one. But it's a Hartlepool penalty. And here's a chance for Nicky Featherstone, the captain, to put the pools 5-0 up at Grosvenor Vale. Here comes the skipper. No mistake there by Nicky Featherstone and Hartlepool have a second goal in this second half to lead by five goals to nil. Nil still becoming a little bit one-sided. Uh, it's, it's a frustrating game. I mean, I, I'm not really too sure what Mike can do there. He played basically no hands on. It's well, he was just he was just balancing, wasn't he? The hand wasn't yeah, in a natural position, but I mean that's ridiculous fairly position. irrelevant this afternoon, I think. I imagine Jacob Mendy Mendy or maybe Michael Phillips probably go right back. What do you think? It seems yeah, he's gone into the right hand side of the fence. And Elliot wins the throw from Michael Phillips. Certainly not the scenario that uh, Sunny Blue Low Everton won want to be making his debut with the team 5-0 down at home but uh, it'll be interesting to see what he can do if the Stones can get him on the ball could work by Bennett that coming works. inside hitting the ball left footed wide of the post as Hartlepool continue in the ascendancy here at Grosvenor Vale good ball inside and it's Hartlepool on the attack again here's Shelton running through strongly for midfield he's going to Maybe have a go himself. Instead, he plays it wide and played across the box. A decent hit and a good save. That's from the substitute Donaldson. Shelby's been a, had a good game, to be fair to him. He has. He big, big saves. Yeah, he may have conceded one, five, but he's made four, four or five saves himself. And there's another good one. Tried to beat him in the near post. I mean, you expect keepers to save that, but got to save it still. He's done well. I mean, none of the five were down to him. He can he can hold his head up after this game. So can most of the Stones team, to be honest. It's it's um it's a matter of playing a team who's just too strong. I think this afternoon. Yeah, they've got good patterns of play, good rotation in the centre midfield. They went on the diag first half, so we've shored that up, and then they've got the rotations in midfield, which has been doing the damage as the corner comes in. And then it comes from Ferguson. Corley wins it unopposed, and there's Shelton again, and he hits the back of the net with his right foot. Once again, he scored the uh, the fourth goal not so long ago, and now he's put in a sixth into the back of the Wheelstone net, and it bobbled along. He wasn't the cleanest strike you'll ever see, 
but it bobbled into George Shelby's net. Again, the loose ball snapped up by Hartlepool before Wilson could get the second, the second clearance in. Yeah, I think and here it comes again. He's unmarked. Yeah, went through a crowd of bodies and Wilson just hold their faces and heads in despair. And I think we're going to see the final Wilson substitute, Danny Parrish, down below us. Although we stayed over, I don't think it could have been like a great prep because obviously change of manager, etc. Um, but for these guys, yeah, business as usual. Come down, stay over, wake up refreshed. Well, they're treated like a full-time outfit, aren't they? Which, of course, they are. He's staring the ball on his left foot, looking for That's Richie Bennett. And we have another penalty. The referee has adjudged. The referee, Tom Reeves, given his second penalty of the afternoon and a booking for Michael Phillips, who got involved in a bit of an arm wrestling contest with Richie Bennett. He looked a bit 50-50. Let's see that one again. Sterry with a decent cross into the danger area. Oh, he's the wrong side. Yeah, Michael Phillips caught the wrong side, as you say, Ross. And it's another penalty, and this time it's Richie Bennett. And I think he's looking to complete his hat-trick here. Is Richie Bennett. Not sure whether he's a regular penalty taker for the pools. Here's a chance to make it 7-0, and he rolls it into the left-hand corner of the net. No chance again for Shelby. And this is turning into a little bit of a procession with 10 minutes left. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been an awful, awful day in the office. Uh, I said in the first half, with them three goals, we needed to kind of get amongst it. This is, yeah, terrible day in the office. For the Wheelstone fans looking on, it's one to, to be watching behind three of your fingers, I think, this afternoon. If I was you, I'd turn off right now. <laughs> get out in the sun, enjoy your day. It's still the rest of the beautiful day to be out on. And there's another 11 games to go, including one on Tuesday night here against Maidenhead. Exactly. Jacob Mendy Mendy winning the ball fairly from Ferguson, who fell over, and there's Mendy Mendy getting the ball to Ryan Gondo. And Rondo goes inside. And Mendy and Alex Dyer on his left foot. Decent, decent effort. Did it flick off a foot? No, it didn't. It's a goal kick. And that's one of the few shots that Wilson have had in his second half. Yeah, he worked it well. Created the space himself. In fact, I'm struggling to remember another shot that uh, Wilson had, had no. in his second half when normally they'd be expected to, to dominate going down the hill. Danny Parrish getting the ball inside and here's uh, Low Everton going through, running through. Great work by Sonny Blue Everton and oh, what, what a, a goal. tremendous goal. Well, that shows the class of this young man, the 18-year-old. Dance through four challenges. What a finish. Put the ball one side of one defender, ran round the other. I think it was a nutmeg. I think it was a nutmeg. Here's a tremendous goal. goal for Wilson, number 16. Sunny Blue, Low Everton. Sunny Blue, Low Everton. That's going to be a name to remember. Whoopee. Mix. <laughs> Great finish. That was a tremendous goal. I think although we've we've seen eight goals this afternoon, that was undeniably the, the goal of the match. It's not seconds, that's four minutes of injury time to be played. And the ball played inside to Elliott. And there's Shelton looking for the return and he gets it back again. He's Elliott onto his left foot and he's dangerous from here. Great, Great save, save by yeah. Shelby. Pushing but then the who, who cares when you're top of the table? That's, uh, it's, it's working Come for on him. Boys, let's get another one. And Jacob Mendy Mendy bending it in. There's a decent ball, but well defended. Time, time. By Bennett and here's Danny Parrish on his right foot. Well charged down. Not a great clearance by Bennett. And Parrish is there. In fact, there's uh, Everton playing the ball to Parrish. And here's Everton again. Ryan Gondo, and he's hit yes. the corner of the net. What a tremendous strike by Ryan Gondo. And Wilson have arguably scored two of the best goals of the afternoon to pull it back to 7-2. So this is redolent of the early games of the season. Nine goals here at the Vale. Unfortunately, only two of them for Wilson. Seven for Hartlepool. And that was a tremendous effort from the edge of the box by Gondo, finding the ball. Great finish. Hitting the ball into the stanchion at the top of the net. And there's what we call an honest exchange of views between the uh, Hartlepool bench and Jacob Mendy Mendy. And I think the Wilson management team will have to come between these players. As the final whistle goes here at Grosvenor Vale, in a rather unsavoury last phase of the game, As the Hartlepool bench, not at all happy with Jacob Mendy Mendy, nor he with them. He was involved in a bit of a heated discussion with Dave Ferguson 
Jacob Mendy Mendy. I'm sure there's a bit of frustration there. And there's some.